Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the show. Today, we're going to hack a little bit on Hack Studio uh, because yesterday I used Hack Studio to make a simple breakout game, and a bunch of little things ended up annoying me about it. And one such thing is that, say, I have a um, compile error, right? And, uh, well, in this case, it's kind of short, but imagine that I have to scroll back here in my terminal output to look at some error, and then I go and fix whatever the problem is. So I remove this gunk here, and then I do a new build. Boom. I don't get the new build output, because it's all the way at the bottom. So uh, I really wish that this terminal here would just scroll to the bottom whenever I initiate a new build, or whenever I start a new command in this terminal, essentially, because that would just feel very natural instead of me having to scroll manually um, after I issue a new build. So it's a very small, simple thing, but it's very annoying. So we're going to fix that today. Um, and I forget how this whole thing is built up, but we have a terminal wrapper widget um, in Hack Studio, which has a terminal widget inside of it. Uh, okay, and I guess we could just um, tell it to like scroll to the bottom. So we need to have some API for that. Let's start scroll. We have scroll length, but this is like um, like how many pixels scroll when you go up and down with the mouse wheel, I think. So that's not really what we want. Or Wait, no, this sounds like it's... No, I guess it is that. Anyway, um, what we want is... Um, how about like, just a scroll to bottom, actually? I was thinking we could have like a scroll to line, but scroll to bottom seems like... It seems like a useful API, so let's just uh, have that. And it's sort of the same thing that happens when you type into a terminal. So let's see, when we have a key down here, this is, um, so we automatically scroll the terminal to the bottom whenever you press uh, a key that's not control alt, left shift, right shift, or the logo key. Um, so I think here we'll just say like scroll to bottom and we'll put that in its own function. Scroll to bottom. Boom. Okay. And then the terminal wrapper. Wait, it doesn't always have a terminal widget. That's weird. Why wouldn't it? Uh, when we construct this, we give it a terminal widget always. Yeah, so I feel like this thing here should just be a reference getter because this is not intended to have... Um, uh, it's, it's not intended to, to be terminal-less. Like, a terminal wrapper always have this, has a terminal widget except this little time window here during construction, but I think we can we can tolerate that. Um, so then what we want to do is we want to call scroll to bottom on this thing whenever we run a command. So I'm guessing that run command would be a good place to do that. Um, maybe like, um, so here's where we fork. And in the child, we run the command. Makes sense. So, um, I guess in the parent, when we fork in the parent, yeah, then, then we'll do something. So, uh, in parent process. Um, 
terminal, scroll bottom. Oh, what was that? Yeah, so this thing is a reference now. I just have to accommodate that. Um, unrelated warning. But yeah. All right, so put some stupid error. Scroll to the top, fix it up. Rebuild, and we're at the bottom. Ooh, I love it. Hmm. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted. So, that's pretty good. Hmm. This looks a little bit awkward, like terminal and dot terminal. Ooh, we'll call this terminal wrapper. Um, hum, 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 hum. Anyways, that will be our fix here. So I think we'll do the, the terminal widget lives in libvt, the virtual terminal. So we'll commit that change separately because it's independent. So it's just uh, factoring out the scroll to bottom logic into its own function, really. Uh, terminal widget scroll to bottom API. Yeah. And use this internally to, uh, to bottom on non modifier key down events. You. Um, and then Pack Studio. Scroll um, terminal embedded terminals to bottom upon command execution. Um, this feels a lot more intuitive, or um, it was kind of annoying that you had to scroll down manually after starting uh, every time you started a new build while looking at some scroll back. Or in the scroll back, yeah. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. So, little improvement, and then we just need a uh, hundred more of these improvements of various types. And um, every time we do something like this, Hack Studio gets a little bit better. And yeah, that's that's how it goes. So today was uh, an extremely short video, but I still wanted to make it because I think uh, it's important to remember that. Uh, great software is very often um, made great by uh, putting an effort into this type of stuff, right? Like um, just the little things. You got to fix all the little things because if if something is generally great but has all these annoyances, then it's not it's not really great. It's just good, good not great. Anyway, um, I'm happy with this. So. One little improvement in the back. Uh, here's to 100 more. And uh, thank you very much for stopping by and checking out this little video. I hope that you saw something interesting. And I will see you next time.